sex car. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, like, um, Welcome to fake Toyota. <laughs> we're on the road because we are off to White Bear Lake, two hours away from Duluth, Minnesota, to see a documentary about a band we've never heard of from a director we both admire. Because the director told us to do it. <laughs> I sent an Instagram comment that Edgar Wright, and I said, the only availability for the Sparks documentary is two hours away. Do I drive two hours to see this movie? Should I do it? Do I have to do it? And he commented, do it. Now, I, I, I don't like to get all like, ooh, you know, about people commenting at you if they're famous or well-known or screenshot it and share it and be like, look what happened to me. However, Edgar Wright is my favorite director of all time. And I don't care if he doesn't remember doing this. Of course he doesn't, but I remember it. And now I'm gonna do as he said. So I'm bringing Hunter with me. We're gonna see Sparks, Sparks Brothers. Cut it. We made it! Come on, it's down there, Lucy. Yeah, in well, the 70s. <laughs> it kind of seemed like they were always ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Even how, like, Russell invented the 80s sway, the Molly Ringwald sway, you know? Yeah, it just seemed like everybody was always ripping them off but didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we did watch that in an empty theater. Doesn't mean it was a bad movie, but it means that people are still missing out on the magic of Sparks. It just means no one's willing to drive two hours. <laughs> well, it's over. Thank you. Imagine of White Bear Lake, and I think Hunter enjoyed his time watching I the movie. Did. I enjoyed it a lot. You know, listen to some, some sparks and Franz Ferdinand. Now. It was interesting, but I, I I knew a record number one song, and I don't think you. I didn't you, know you, knew the, you knew the one, but you were. <laughs> one sounded familiar, but I'm pretty sure it was just Franz Ferdinand that sounded familiar to me. So we are the very thing that the documentary was pointing out. I wondered like every time they kind of made a slight hit, if they were just like wanting to piss people off by making something that they knew would not hit. Mm -hmm. That they knew, they're like, let's, no, we're becoming too big now. Yeah. Let's change it. And yeah. I don't know, some of their, I don't know, some of, it's, some of it almost felt fake. Have you ever seen This Is Spinal Tap? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of felt like that at times almost, where I was like, but there's like a legit, and not that they're bad, but just like some of the choices where it's like, yeah, but why? <laughs> yeah, but that's like, I mean, there's a lot of punk bands that did it, but none of them, no punk band has like stayed around that long while reinventing themselves that authentically, like Sparks did, like Sparks is almost the original punk band, and almost doing things that didn't make sense, but still influencing so much of music and getting so many other bands starts like some of their stuff sounded remarkably similar to like queen or like electric player orchestra but like they almost like directly influenced almost all 80s synth music and synth pop like, right it was kind of weird thinking that some of their whatever point they were talking about like the punk music of the era mm -hmm. it was weird to me that like whatever album they had out at the time, which is like you said, kind of a Queen ELO kind of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. It was just weird to me that they were releasing that at the same time. And I'm sure there are a lot of bands like that, but that was just so different and like mm -hmm. not a. a uh, it's but it. I feel like it fits better now because there's just. I feel like there's more room now for like niches like that. And not and now that they have like so many years that people can go back to. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm gonna watch out if they have a concert around here. Yeah. They ever have one in the cities? Or at White Bear Lake? <laughs> I don't know why I was looking for a water tower. But it was worth a two hour drive, gotta say.